One of the new features in macOS Ventura is you can now create a shared photo library. So for example, you could include your spouse, siblings, or parents. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set it up from an iPhone or a Mac, and as always, plenty of helpful tips and tricks along the way. That's coming up next on Tech Talk America. Hey folks, and welcome to the class. To create a shared photo library from your iPhone, go into Settings and scroll down to Photos. Now you want to tap here where it says Set up your shared library. If you're following along on a Mac, go into the Photos app, click where it says Photos at the top left, and then go into Settings and click on the Shared Library tab. Now click Get Started. You can add a total of five people, six including yourself, to your shared library. Why they limit it to six, I have no idea. I mean, you can create 200 shared albums with up to 5,000 photos and videos in each album and share it with up to 100 people, but for some reason, they decided to limit shared libraries to six people. To present you with my opinion, I'm gonna refer you to my lawyer, Johnny Cochran. That does not make sense. So what do you think? Do you think it's silly for Apple to limit shared libraries to six people? I mean, I guess we're about to all find out who the favorite is, right? For the time being, I am just gonna add my husband to my shared library, and yes, we're both named David, and yes, it's confusing for everyone. On this next screen, you can choose how you want to add your photos to your shared library. You can add all of your photos and videos, which in my opinion is a horrible idea, or you can add photos with specific people in them, you can do it starting from a date in time, you can choose the photos manually, or here at the bottom left is an option to add photos later. Personally, I think it's best to go with either the manual method or just click add photos later. At this point, I'll add just a few photos to get the album started, and now it'll show us a preview of the shared library. If you look here at the top left corner, you'll see we have this new menu where we can toggle between viewing the personal library, shared library, or both. So now as you go through your library, let's say you find a group of photos that you want to add to the shared library. Just select them, then secondary click, AKA right click, and then select move to shared library. At this point, I have a hot tip that I would like to throw your way. While you're going through this process of assembling your shared library, this is also a perfect time to set up a legacy contact if you have not already done so. This is one of those things that every single iPhone, iPad, and Mac user should take the time to set up. I have a three minute tutorial that walks you through the entire process. Link to that video in the video description or click the link that just went over my head if you're watching me on YouTube. Another thing that you might want to consider doing as you're going through this process of creating your shared library is this may present a good time to remove all of the junk files that are likely taking up a ton of space in iCloud. And just to be clear, when I say junk, there are several different types of junk, including screenshots, thumbnails, two second videos that you didn't mean to take because oops, you thought your phone was in photo mode. If you think that your photo library could use a little cleaning, I encourage you to check out my video called Goodbye Junk Photos. In that video, I'll show you how to quickly and efficiently hunt down all of those junk files and reclaim that space. Here's another hot tip. For those of you who are Dropbox users, I encourage you to go into Dropbox's settings Go to the Backups tab and check to see if any of these options are checked. You also might want to consider unchecking this option. That way, every time you plug a device into your Mac, Dropbox won't automatically try to back it up. If you need help with organizing your photos, you should know that is one of my specialties. If you would ever like to work with me one-on-one -on -one from the privacy of your own home, please visit my website, techtalkamerica.com and book a one hour tech therapy session today. We work together through Zoom, everything's confidential, and at the end of the session, you get a recording of everything we did. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to support my YouTube channel, it would be much appreciated. Please consider clicking the new super thanks button. That allows you to leave a little tip of your choosing, even if it's as little as $2. I thank you very much for your support and remember every little bit helps. Thank you so much for watching everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.